What's up guys, welcome back. So right now, I am currently back home in Houston for the week break. Um, we just finished our final semester of PT school. So we're done with classes forever. And now we just have about 10 months of clinical rotations left. I'm definitely excited for that, to be able to go out there and practice what we learned. So a lot has happened in the past month or so. I'm just gonna backtrack and talk about the different things that happened. But starting with uh, the last WICO ceremony, we attended as a PT3. It wasn't as exciting for us because as a PT1, you get the WICO, PT2, you help coat your mentee. And PT3, we sat there most of the time, we watched our uh, farewell video and we accepted some awards, but it was still fun just getting, hanging out with everyone. Now, for the prosthetics and orthotics class, we had an orthotics lab where we uh, made plaster slippers for the foot and also wrist immobilization splints. For the plaster slipper, we use strips of plaster, dip in water, and start putting it on the bottom of the foot, <clears throat> making sure that the ankle is in subtalar neutral. So when the patients wear it, they can remain in that position to help better function of the foot. The wrist immobilization splint is usually used for carpal tunnel syndrome, any wrist sprains, wrist strains. Um, anything after surgery that requires immobilization. And then we traced out the hand along with the wrist on like a thermal plastic sheet and we cut it out and then put it, dip it in the really hot water in this machine thing and then we get to form that on the patient's hand. We add Velcro to it so you can take it off and put it on. The important thing about these making these orthotics is making sure that they're smooth, there's no sharp edges, they're comfortable for the patient, so they're compliant with wearing them because if they're not if they can't wear if they're not comfortable and not wearing it, then there's no use of making these orthotics. So next we had a practical for applied clinical decision making class. And this practical was a little bit different than the previous practicals we've had because we had um, patients come in. Uh, role-playing patients come in and our graders were not our professors they were CIs from around the area so um, <clears throat> so they could really gauge what we know and gauge our performance so they can give us like truthful feedbacks and critiques for the practical we had 20 minutes in a in a room to read the case and fill out as many of the as much of the boxes as we can remember those boxes from the previous video we were talking about um, <clears throat> and then we have 50 minutes to go in and quickly evaluate and treat the patient. It was kind of scary at first, a little bit nerve wracking, but we didn't know what to expect. We knew the setting going in, it was acute care outpatient, so it was post-surgical. So it was very important to understand the weight-bearing precautions and maintain safety for the patient. Overall, it wasn't bad. Uh, our th three assessments that we chose to examine for the patient was like bed mobility, transfers, and gait which is pretty common for that setting. Some of the patients were like screaming in pain just to kind of throw us off a little bit. Just knowing how to deal with that and sometimes you have to keep pushing them because uh, pain is inevitable and <clears throat> just getting that whole uh, patient clinician interaction and the CI was greeting off that. And at the end they gave us good feedback so it was, it was a good experience. And then we had our PT3 going away party um, for everyone in class, we all um, went to this restaurant that was reserved for us by the waters in downtown Fort Lauderdale. We each won like a superlative award, like most likely to be late for class, most likely to be to own their own clinic. Um, so everyone had one. So someone came up with the superlatives specific for everyone, and I got YouTube Star Award. I was the only YouTuber in class, so that wasn't. Uh, surprise and then Ryan got like world traveler he travels a lot and George got Pokemon master yeah ever since that Pokemon Go game came out it's been crazy everyone in class played it and there was like a pokey stop in our PT lab so we'd just be swiping in class but it's toward the end of the semester good thing we didn't have anything major going on that will be it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it and thanks for watching